Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Box Office Receipts for the weekend of January 10th, 2020. I'm your host Tyler Callahan and we got the usual weekend top 5 international updates, what is coming out this weekend, and now a new edition, news. I'll get to that in a bit, but first let's get through the weekend top 5. In first place is 1917, opening in a wide release with $37 million, for a total of $39.7 million. In second place is Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker with $15.1 million for a total of 478.2 million. In third place is Jumanji the next level with 14 million for a total of 257.1 million. Opening in fourth place is Like a Boss with 10 million. Lastly in fifth place opening in wide release is Just Mercy with 9.7 million for a total of 10.1 million. So I was almost right with my predictions. I thought Just Mercy would have performed better and instead came in just under Like a Boss. Another newcomer underwater did not have a good opening as expected, coming in at 7th place for a total of 7 million. This is another movie from the Fox merger that probably could have performed better if there was marketing behind it because I barely saw any of that being advertised and it seemed like Disney just wanted to dump it and move on. Me personally, I did not hear about this movie at all until like a month ago. 1917 did really good for an opening weekend and with the Oscar noms as well as Golden Globe wins, it's like should easily past 100 million and possibly 150 million domestic. Universal may have fucked up with cats, but they got an award winner here in thanks to Sam Mendes. Looking at some other domestic numbers, I was right about the grudge that fell off a cliff dropping 69% to make 3.5 million in 11th place. Speaking of cats, it is now at 18th place with 559,000 for a total of 26.3 million. Little Woman is still doing good with it now at 74.1 million. It should end up around 100 million domestic when all is said and done. Now let's look at some international numbers. 1917 is currently at 2.1 million for a total of 60.8 million worldwide. Underwater is at 7 million internationally for a worldwide opening weekend of 14.1 million. For a rumored budget of 50 to 80 million, yikes. Again, Disney should have been better with its release and marketing, but here we are. Jumanji is still doing solid with it now at 670 million worldwide. The Rise of Skywalker is really slowing to a crawl now, as it is still working toward a billion, with it now at 989 million worldwide. Yes, it'll reach it this week, but it should have done this a week or two ago. Spies in the Skies is now at 115 million worldwide, which so far I think is a disappointment for Fox, aka Disney. I'm not sure what the budget for the movie was, but if it's over 50 million, then it's not looking good for a profit. Now onto the news section, news. I wanted to add a small news story here and there, if I can uh, relate it to box office in some way. So this week, Sony released their first trailer for Morbius, the Spider-Man vampire villain, starring Jared Leto. I bring it up because it seems to be somewhat connected to the MCU, with the last scene in the trailer being Vulture from Spider-Man Homecoming showing up, played by Michael Keaton. This is most likely connected to the new Sony-Disney deal for Spider-Man, and I think leads credence to the rumor of Spider-Man making a cameo in Venom 2, also coming out this year. Morbius is set for a summer release on July 31st, with its closest competition being Jungle Cruise coming out the week before, and Tenant coming out two weeks before that. This week we have some more big budget movies, with the return of two franchises, the first being the return of Dr. Doolittle, played by Robert Downey Jr., and Doolittle, and the supposed finale of Bad Boys, with Bad Boys for Life. Now I think Doolittle set up for failure a bit here, with it being a $175 million movie being released in January, and so far I have not seen any hype for it. While it will be a close race, I think Bad Boys will top it as it has more goodwill and nostalgia attached to it. So my weekend top 5 predictions are 1st place Bad Boys for Life, 2nd place Doolittle, 3rd place 1917, 4th place Jumanji the Next Level, and 5th place Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I am being a little risky here in saying Star Wars drops the 5th. I have noticed in the past few weekends that Star Wars has dropped more than Jumanji and is now at a 1 million difference. If Jumanji can hold a bit more, then Star Wars will go below it. Anyway, that is it for this week's episode of Box Office Receipts. What do you think will be in the top five this weekend? Let me know on Instagram at Tyler Callahan Media or on Facebook. Link to the page is in the description. Thanks for listening. See you next week.